so we are about to head out and we are going to be looking for some wildlife out here in Charlotte at night. So hopefully we're able to, my goodness, hopefully we are able to catch some dope stuff. So stay tuned, Jack's World of Wildlife. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, we're actually gonna set up a light trap to attract insects tonight. So it's gonna bring in all sorts of crazy stuff and hopefully we can attract some really iconic and interesting species. We have a little uh, generator set up and some special lights that will attract those insects in. They are buzzing all over the place. I'm sure you can see them all in the camera. They're flying in our mouths, our nose, our ears. So hopefully, hopefully, uh, we can get some cool species. Golly, ah, okay, so we uh, have just arrived at a little creek. There's a lot of oak trees around, um, and there's a good chance we could run into one of my favorite ant species, which is Neoponera villosa. Now, that species is the largest Ponderini tribe ant in North America. Now, if you remember from our bullet ant episode, how we talked about Paraponerini, and that's a tribe of ants that's very similar to the tribe Ponerini, which are large stinging ants. Neoponera villosa, or the hairy panther ant, is also commonly referred to as the Texas bullet ant. So hopefully we'll get some on, on camera, and hopefully we can get up close and personal. Okay, so we have just stumbled upon a Neoponera villosa nest. Look at these beautiful ants. They're basically a uh, black gray ant with a metallic green yellow sheen. And they are gorgeous. Now these are foraging all throughout the night for food. The workers are on high alert. They are now aware of our presence and they are not happy. And not having it. This is one of the larger ant species in Texas. And these are one of the most voracious hunting ants in North America. And I would even say in throughout Central and South America, their hunting response is even more extreme and aggressive than bullet ants. I would say their behavior is most comparable to that of the bulldog ants, the bull ants, Mermesia of Australia. They have excellent eyesight, powerful stings, huge powerful mandibles, and they are pretty, pretty serious species to mess with. Get focus. They are very beautiful. Very, very beautiful ants. Look at that coloration there. Beautiful. Beautiful iridescent coloration there. Ooh, love these ants. All right, we're gonna go check our light trap, see if there's anything else going on. So we will say bye to these gals for now, but we shall return at some future time because I love Love, 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 love. Neoponera. Oh. Velosa. Bam. Right there. That's a good shot. Look at those workers. So, looks like we've got a lot of bugs on our light trap. Um, check out this little guy. This is a Texas unicorn mantis. But look at all these bugs here. There is just a wild amount of insects. Look at this mantis. So, if you take a look up at the head, in between those two antennae, there's a little horn. And that is where they get their name, unicorn. It's kind of difficult to see. But that was definitely one of the more notable insects. Uh, definitely one of the more notable insects that's shown up. Oh, no 
Okay, well, good. Okay, so take a look at what we have here. This is, oh, oh, don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me. This is a giant devil katydid. These are a carnivorous species of katydid native to this area down here in, in the south. And this is a formidable hunter. These will eat vertebrates. I mean, they will fly up to porch lights, rip geckos off of the wall. Easy, she's trying to jump. Look at this. There's a bug in my shirt. It's a bit unnerving to have her on my hand. I do not want her to bite. She could cut through my skin like scissors on paper. I mean, these are formidable creatures. Oh, <laughs> but look at that. So, if you can see on the front limbs there, they actually have these huge spines, and what they'll do is when they um, feel around, they feel for prey with those antenna. Oh, no, no, don't bite me, don't bite me. Make sure Basically, it's in the frame. Yeah, I'm. No, if she bites you, make sure it's in the frame. Oh golly! But uh, so basically, those giant spines on the front of the legs they use to actually grapple their prey. They'll jump onto it and then. They'll, ow! 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 Actually, this would be ooh, a good time to show you those mandibles. Ooh, there she goes. Oh, goes. oh that nice display. display. Yeah. Stay still. You see that? She's got her wings all out. That checkered kind of pattern. Look at that. Ooh, she's mad. She is mad. She okay. could bite through those pants. She could. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh she's mad. Oh, she is mad now. She's real mad. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Don't bite me. All right, look at the mandibles here. I'll bring her close. Are you seeing that? Right there, yeah. Woo! Look at these mandibles. I mean, that could just shred, shred through my skin. Oh, oh, scary. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yikes. Ooh. But look at that threat display. Well, now she's flipped upside down. There's a sulfugid coming through. Look at that. Blue checkered wings. Scary freaking. <laughs> scary. Ooh. Ovipositor is long. So, this little appendage that I have suspended her by. That is her ovipositor. Essentially, that's a sharp little tube that she will use to pierce the ground to deposit her eggs. Males will lack this, and their abdomen will end with the cloaca. But you can see that nice threat display. She's not liking me carrying her like this, but insects uh, do not have a complex nervous system, so they don't feel pain. So I'm just mildly inconveniencing her for now just to show you guys that amazing display. Look at that. Ooh. That is a massive insect. Scary. All right, we will let her go on her way. Woo. There she goes. Goodbye. Don't turn around and bite me. All right, so we found some really cool species of insects tonight. We found Neoponera velosa, uh, which is the uh, hairy panther ant. We found uh, Neoboretia uh, spinosa, <laughs> which is the giant devil katydid. We found a whole number of other insects that came to the light trap, and we found that super cool unicorn mantis male. So we are gonna call it a night. We've had a great time out here. Uh, we're heading home tomorrow. Uh, but we're really, really happy with a lot of the cool stuff we found. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these videos. So, uh, 
Bye. Love you. Bye.